Hi, this is George Bruno, also known as the Sultan of Silver. Today I'm going to show you the art of giving the closest shave that you've ever gotten. Just warming up the brush a little bit. I'm going to saturate the brush. It's a natural boar bristle brush. Shake it off so no more water comes off. And I start whipping up the pre-shave. I use Parasso soap. It's the number one shaving soap in Italy. When you go in Italy, this is all you get. The fragrance of this happens to be sandalwood, so it's really pleasant. And then you basically get enough soap on there. A lot of people will apply soap with the brush. I'm not real big on that. I extract the lather from the brush. For instance, I'm going to go like this and get the lather out of the brush like that. I use a Kamasori blade, which is a non-folding straight razor, and I put a disposable blade in it. This is like an injector blade. This comes out, and you can see that. Take the blade out. I pinch the razor, put the blade in. This gets changed in between every client for sanitary reasons. It's sterile, it's cleaned. This little thing comes apart, so it's perfectly cleaned. And with the with bloodborne pathogens, you never want to take any chances. And in the shaving world, cleanliness is definitely next to godliness. Take the hot towel out of the warmer. Just put it on the inside of the arm like you would would a baby bottle. If I can withstand the heat here, then that means it won't be uncomfortable for the face. Bring it out. I drop it right down at the base of the neck. Let it gather a little bit. I double it when it goes over the mustache area. Then I bring this up like that. Fold this over and bring this up. And then I mold it to the face. I want it doubled in the mustache area. I want it doubled in the chin area. On the face, there's 100 follicles per square inch. Mustache, chin area, pretty much the goatee area for most people, there's 400 follicles per square inch. So the hair is much thicker, really needs the heat and the moisture. And I'll let that sit for a few minutes. Yes, I want to make like a little collar First, grab opposite corners so it just fits. And just fit that there. This is the towel that I'll be wiping all the lather on after each stroke. Like that. And then this is the towel that I'm going to have on my lap because I'm constantly wiping my hands. Wet hands are the enemy of a barber. You want, you want to be able to have a nice dry grip on your razor. I keep a towel on my lap to always dry my hands. You never want your hands to be slippery. You always want them to be dry. Putting on the lather for the shave. We already did the pre-shave. Softened a lot of the beard. And again, I work this in. The reason why I put it on with my hand is I get a chance to kind of feel the contours. I can feel where the swirls are. I can feel the growth pattern of the beard. And I'm mentally kind of taking notes as to where I feel there might be some trouble spots or more challenging spots, I'd rather say that. A lot of times people will have scars or a mole or some type of something from the skin and the last thing you want to do is cut somebody like that. So we'll do this, like really know the lay of the land here. I always keep a double walled bowl of just shampoo and hot water in this right here. And I will frequently during the shave dip into this to help lubricate an area that might be dried out. So I always keep this hot shampoo water soapy water nearby. I never want the client to help me out. A lot of times people will feel the need 
Uh, they think they're being helpful by puffing out their cheek when they want, uh, when they feel like I want to get closer, so they'll go like this or like that. I don't want that. The, the barber that is good at his craft will manipulate the person's head and skin so he can get the right angle and the right stretch. And the reason why a straight razor shave is closer than most shaves is that when I stretch the skin, when I pull that skin, the follicle pops up. The blade cuts the hair off, and then when I let go of the skin, that follicle goes back underneath. That's why you can get closer than any other kind of razor, because you're pulling the skin, and you literally can get, uh, in the shaving world, when you go on the shaving forums, um, people will refer to a close shave as a BBS shave, and that stands for baby bottom smooth. So we're going for a BBS shave. A lot of times when you're shaving people, I'll find out what some of their medical history is. For instance, if a person is on blood thinners, you, you want to know that because a small little nick might bleed more than let's say a young person who is not on any medication. So that's important to know as well. And what's interesting is um, anything from the neck on up is very vascular. So the area on the face and the head uh, will bleed more than the same, the very same cut anywhere else on the body, if, if you have a, a razor cut, it'll always bleed more up here because there's so many more capillaries on the face and head, so you're always careful. I'm taking short strokes, and then when I see the razor getting filled with whiskers, I'll just wipe it. I'm going against the grain. I'm using different angles, backhand, freehand. With a lot of guys, a lot of their hair grows as far up as the cheekbone area. So I always kind of shield the eyes, stretch, and get the little hairs that are up on the cheekbones. Can't be afraid to do that if you want to give someone a good shave. Being that he has a goatee, I'm careful about keeping the shape of that particular facial hair. Not unlike when you're shaving yourself, when you're getting in certain areas, you tend to move your lips, you go like that to get close. I don't want people doing that. Again, I just always like to reiterate the fact, enjoy the shave. Just sit back and relax and fall asleep if you want. Let me do all the stretching. At the very end of a shave, I usually end it with a cool towel, and that's basically the towel that was hot and through the process of evaporation becomes really, really cool. And I'll just make it cool. I'm lowering it by about 20 degrees just by doing this. I always say, I'm putting a cool towel on your face. I let them know that because if you just, after a hot shave, put a, a, a cool towel on their face, it's a real shock. So you wanna inform people of every stage that you're going through. So now, here comes the cool towel. Lower it down, it folds, it folds, it folds. You double it at the mustache. Bring it up, cover the eyes. Double it around the chin. Bring up the little sides. And everywhere that I cut, I kind of mold the towel, the cool towel to the face like I did with the hot towel. And what this does is it closes some of the pores. If there's any redness, it takes care of that and I let that sit for a few minutes. Last but not least is the moisturizer, and especially in the winter time, 
to help protect the face because what I basically did was stripped all the natural oils off with the blade. So now I'm kind of replacing some of those oils. So when he walks out, while it's called out, his face will be protected. And most guys don't moisturize their faces, so this is a treat. This is another chance to give like a little bit of a temple massage as well, always in downward strokes. Everything is downward strokes. Last step, I like to put a little bit of powder on the neck area. And you can never really put enough. It's for comfort, dries up any other oils. And I go up underneath the earlobes. I use the brush, eye sockets, like that. I say on the count of three, I'm gonna bring you up. One, two, three. Can I take a look at my work from here? If there's anything that needs to be done as far as uh, any other hair sticking out, that's when I'll go in. Any finishing work, straightening out sideburns. Hair always gets messed up when they're laying down, so recomb a person's hair. Always ask if they want any product in it or regroom it however they want it. And that is a straight razor shave the right way. Come see us at Players Barbershop, 38 North York Road. Hatboro, PA. See you later.